I want to take you to a Google Doc and show you how Grammarly works in Google Doc. Please take note that Grammarly is currently in beta in Google Docs and what that means is they're still working on it and there are some kinks. It's not perfect yet, but it will be improving throughout the year. That's what it means that it's in beta. So basically when you have your Grammarly installed, you should see Grammarly always come up next to the URL bar in Chrome. And if you click on it, make sure that you enable it on Google Docs. And I also like to enable the second one, show definitions and synonyms. And that basically means that whenever you double click on anything, whether it be in a Google Doc or even if you're reading on a web page, when you have this enabled, this show definitions and synonyms via double click on all sites, then when you double click on a word, it will show synonyms right away and you can just click to change it if you're in a Google Doc or something like that using Grammarly. So I think that's pretty neat. When Grammarly is checking, basically you'll see down here in the lower right corner that you have 11 errors or 11 things that they've caught. Now, if you click on that 11, you'll see that it's in beta still. And so the features here are not as rich as they are if you are in the actual Grammarly editor. So if you're writing a full paper, I still recommend at the end of all of this that you copy and paste it into Grammarly.com and I'll show you why in a moment but this is a great way if you're writing in a Google Doc for you to check as you're writing. So here you can see that Grammarly is picking up some errors. Here it's saying I should remove the comma. If I click on it, that would accept the change or I could ignore the change or I can just leave it be if I want. It just will be read and you can just ignore it yourself. So this was some verb errors that copy and pasted. So a lot of these sentences don't even make sense. But you can see that it corrects any grammar uh, mistakes that you're making. It will also catch any of your spelling mistakes. I don't want no pudding. Says I don't want any pudding. I want no pudding. So this will catch all your basic spelling and grammar mistakes. And also if you enable that double click thing, then you'll be able to get some synonyms, which can be very helpful in your writing. But let me just go ahead and show you why I say that a lot of times you're better off in the actual Grammarly editor. You'll see that when I paste it into the Grammarly editor, I get a lot more feedback here. So I get things like repetitive word, which can be very helpful. I get possibly confused words. I get more feedback about what error I made and how to correct it because if I click on the card, it gives me an example and it tells me what the correction means so I can learn a little bit more. And I just find if I'm really trying to proofread a full paper and I want a lot of feedback, the Grammarly editor is really your way to go. But I understand that sometimes you just want to stay in a Google Doc and in that case, having the beta turned on is better than nothing and hopefully within the school year they'll be rolling out more features so that it becomes more similar to Grammarly.com at the Google Doc experience. Another thing you can do, you know, if there's a particular paragraph that you're struggling with and you know it doesn't sound right in your Google Doc, you can just copy and paste that one paragraph into Grammarly, workshop it, and then paste it back into Google Docs. So those are just all options that I wanted to show you, but just make sure that in this little bar, everything is enabled and that you are on premium. Hope that helps.